While free-to-play games certainly have their controversial elements attached to them, there is no doubt that it has become a stable genre to gaming in 2018. And there are still a slew of upcoming and exciting free-to-play games that have been yet to be released. In this video, we want to take a look at 8 upcoming free-to-play games that you need to know about. Let's get right into this. Warface on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One Warface has already been released on PC and it's gotten a reasonably positive reception. The game was done by Crytek and it's running on the Cry engine so it looks rather good. And it's a first person shooter where you can choose among four different classes to play sniper, rifleman, engineer, or medic. Each class obviously has their own role and they have distinctive weapons as well. For example, riflemen can choose between a variety of assault rifles and light machine guns. Snipers face the same choice between bolt action and semi-automatic rifles. Medics have automatic and pump action shotguns whereas the engineers use submachine guns guns and personal defense weapons. Warface is expected to come to PS4 and Xbox One very soon and if you're on PC you can play it already. Next up we have Ascent Infinite Realm. This is a free-to-play MMO that I am personally very excited for. It's a game that we still don't know much about, but the gameplay we've seen thus far has looked fantastic. The game itself has a steampunk-inspired aesthetic, which is very unique for an MMO. We don't see a lot of steampunk games these days. And the game itself, as Ascent would describe, is focused around aerial combat and realm versus realm combat. The release for Ascent Infinite Realm has not been confirmed yet, but hopefully we see it sometime in 2019. Next up, we have Project TL. Project TL is the latest game by NCSoft, and it's a part of the Lineage series and a sequel to the first Lineage game. The game was announced all the way back in 2011 as Lineage Eternal, but it went through numerous delays and it looked like it was never coming out and stuck in development hell. However, it was finally announced that the game is still in fact in development and rebooted as Project TL. Lineage is one of the more recognizable MMO franchises, so good to see that it's still kicking today. Project TL, while it doesn't have a release window yet, hopefully this one comes in 2019 as well. Next up, we have Defiance 2050. The original Defiance was an old sci-fi MMO released all the way back in 2013 on PS3, Xbox 360, and PC. And in December of last year, developers Treon World confirmed that a PlayStation 4 version of the game was in development. They also stated that the game is not a sequel. Instead, they will continue to update the original game with new content. However, it's a brand new version called Defiance 2050. This version is set to feature larger scale action built to take advantage of newer hardware. Defiance has been a pretty good game, however, this version looks to be taking it up a notch, and if you've been playing the older game, well then you're gonna transition into Defiance 2050, no problem, and if you've yet to check out Defiance, if you're into action-oriented third-person shooters, this is one that's definitely worth checking out. For those of you who vow to protect and defend, the Guardian has several abilities to fill this role. You can shield up with barrier, or unleash a shockwave that damages and stuns enemies right in front of you. The Combat Medic is a super solid support class. You can keep your team alive with heals and buffs, plus the Medic comes prepped with a healing bot. For a balanced attack, go with the Assault class. It's easy to learn and fun to play, with a bit of offense, defense, and support. Smash your enemies with super melee delivering massive damage. Or 
Stun opponents trying to get too close with a concussion blast. Next up, we have a brand new Battle Royale game in Europa. Now, of course, the Battle Royale genre is gonna see several game releases in the coming months and years. The genre is taking the gaming world by storm with free-to-play titles such as Fortnite and pay-to-play titles such as PUBG. Well, here's a brand new free-to-play Battle Royale title in Europa, and Europa is a game that's gonna captivate you right away because unlike a game like Fortnite, Europa has a more realistic, gritty, and high-tech art style. The equipment looks more high-end and even better so than PUBG. The game itself also looks to have a big emphasis on environmental destruction, so that's a pretty cool element that's being introduced into a Battle Royale game. Europa is already listed in the Chinese Steam page, however, over here in the States, who knows when we're gonna get it, hopefully sooner rather than later, as a Battle Royale game of this style can definitely gain a lot of traction over here in the States. Next up, we have Conker's Blade. Conker's Blade has been in development for a very long time, and the game is set to represent a flagship sandbox PC warfare game that goes across ancient Eastern and Western civilizations. The core design of Conker's Blade is set to revolve around innovativeness, which hybrids action and tactic gameplay. The player is set to enjoy smooth hero action combat and sophisticated tactics control of corpse together. Conker's Blade aims to mirror medieval history, and this is a game that visually looks absolutely stunning. Currently, it's only set for a PC release, but hopefully, we see Conqueror's Blade out in 2019. Braved waves of lances and hails of arrows, laughing in the face of death itself, to claim victory time after time. It is their story I tell, one of love and hatred, of honor and betrayal, of a time when countless legends were born in battle, their thirst for glory, sated only by victory or death. Next up, we have Magic the Gathering Arena. Magic the Gathering has been around for decades now. It's been one of the most popular, if not the most popular card games in terms of physical card games, but of course, as the world is ever evolving and more digital-based card games such as Hearthstone gaining a lot of traction and popularity, Magic the Gathering needed to adapt, and with Magic the Gathering Arena, it follows the same rules as the physical card game. However, now you can just do it on a digital front, and it is a free-to-play game. However, it will be supported by microtransactions to buy gems, the in-game currency, and that will allow you to buy booster packs. You can also acquire gems as reward for winning draft mode. And speaking of draft, yes, Magic the Gathering has draft play, and of course, it will have constructed play as well. In constructed play, you'll make your own deck, and in draft play, you'll draft your own deck, so that goes without saying. If you're a fan of Magic the Gathering, or you want to get back into it, Magic the Gathering Arena would probably fit as an easy way to do so. It's expected to be released in full in September of 2018, currently, again, only set for a PC release, but hopefully we see it out on consoles at some point as well, because I think this is one that would resonate with the console audience as well. It means that we're in combat. You could also learn by that by the fact we're being asked for blockers right now, which we're not going to take. All right. Now it is our turn. I am going to, let's see, I would like to cast probably this cut. So let's tap this and we'll tap. And finally, Soldiers Arena. Soldiers Arena is a multiplayer real-time tactics action game from the creators of Men of War. The game features three factions, dozen commanders, 200 units, and an infinite number of tacks to realize your tactical genius. The game is said to be all about tactics. It's about team play and cooperation between armies. If you're familiar with Men of War, you know what you're getting yourself into with Soldiers Arena. And this is a game that's set to hit early access very soon, so if you're into more tactical-based games, Soldiers Arena is definitely one to keep your eyes on. The 
That is going to conclude this video. Eight upcoming free-to-play games that you need to have your eyes on and you need to be excited for. Yes, free-to-play games aren't for everyone. They do have a huge emphasis on microtransactions usually, but if done well, a free-to-play game can resonate with just about anyone. Let us know which free-to-play games you are excited for the most and sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.